so guys hello again welcome to my youtube channel and today i just decided to you know what let me get familiar with other people and let just throw what other people like and not what i just like alone and i just decided you know what let me draw a chipmunk i thought of drawing a smith and then i thought smith I really like to challenge myself. Then I thought, okay, a smell that doesn't really have much of a challenge, really much of details, unless I'm doing that old, old one, Papa Smith. But then I decided, you know what? Let me just take Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks and just borrow him because, firstly, he's a genius. I'm a genius. I'm 17 years old. I'm 17 years old. I'm drawing perfectly for my level, and I'm still a player. I'm still learning. And secondly, I thought, okay, he has lots of hair, so that will give me a very good challenge. He just like to throw that fair on his face, you know, and just stand still and just think how I'm gonna do this. And on this video, guys, I just used a few pencils. I used a 2H3B, a, a 2B, a 6B for the glasses and the iris of the of, of the chipmunk. And uh, and I just use a 0.5 pencil. That's it. Mechanical pencil. That's what I just used. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, and the eraser too. Yeah. I'm going, going, going crazy. So guys, uh, I used the 6B pencil just to highlight the areas and to make sure that they are visible to know where they are because as you can see the drawing is lighter and I used a 4B pencil just to highlight where the fair of sentence will be before I started doing the details. Oh yeah, plus guys, when you are doing fair, you should do, uh, before you do the shadows and the hair you should start just by doing a first layer just to make sure that the color of the fur itself or the skin you are doing is already there the first layer represents the color of the subject you are drawing okay before you are layering the hair or the fur or the shadows yeah so that's what i did there before i did everything else that's what i did i laid the first the first layer to show the color of someone's fur and then I came to the pupils using a 6B pencil and uh, just did it so easily. And then the class is too wide, you use the 6B pencil. Just pick the darkest pencil you have. And I happen to have a 6B pencil, so I used it. But if you have an NB, an 8B, a 7B, use that type of pencil just to give your pupils a color in your glasses, a dark color. That will work very, very well, crispy well. <laughs> Do you want to know? Well, I've been thinking about you, and I think I have to listen because. As I started doing the fair, I'd like to suggest that you can like put the darker layer than the first layer then start by doing your your fair when you're doing fair it's just you are doing smaller lines like smaller strokes thin strokes and not too long not too short it depends on the character you are drawing like how long is the affair how short is this how dark it is and that dark spot next to the eye inside the the, the eyeglasses is that it's actually the the fair where it the way there's a lot of shade but you can see a little bit that it's fair and guys when you're doing fair just don't forget that you must sharpen your pencil because if you do you are not gonna sharpen your pencil it won't work that well i won't know how you do it without a sharp pencil but you gotta sharpen your pencil before you do fair because fair is really tricky and it has to be thin no matter what no ma that's why i'm using a, a 0 0.5 or a 0 0.3 pencil and a 2h which is really sharpened well 
and in the and, and in the mouth there i just decided you know what because it's just black let me just take my 6b pencil which is the darkest pencil i have on my collection and just you know put in the darkest spot that i, that I could like you know comparing it to the glasses or the pupil you know what i'm saying and when you're doing the pupil guys you know that dark white spot you should always put it there don't forget to put it there because it represents the reflection of another subject to the eye of the subject you are drawing if you are looking outside the window it reflects it that white spot shows the reflection of the light from outside the window into your eye so don't forget to do that and it's nearly realistic for me because i'm not at the point where i could like do realism like cox jeza or zhc or tesh but i'm getting there for a 17 year old i'm getting there even though i'm disappointed in myself to see that cox is in my age range but he's far too well than me <coughs> now maybe it's because actually me or maybe it's because I'm using black and white pencils. I don't have markers, but as time goes on, guys, I will buy markers because right now, oh shit, I'm fucked up. Oh, sorry, sorry for the language, but I really don't have those markers. But I try with a black and white. That's the best I could do. But soon, soon, that's not really the best, best. But soon I'll do a. A tour of my drawing book for you all to see how I could draw, how I can draw my on my drawing book when I'm alone, when I'm not under pressure and when I'm relaxed. So I'll give you a chance to see my drawing book, give you a nice tour of my drawing book, nice chilled tour of my drawing book, including this picture. I have a little bit of character design and uh, some notes, you know what I'm saying? Some notes at the back, and you'll see them as time goes on. But for now, just enjoy the music.